Three the judge. Pick him over. Gonna say, mate, Clark, the two dollars. Who's two dollars? Is that ninety-two, sir? Two dollars. Two dollars I've got. I'm at two dollars, Ben. I'm at two dollars. I'm at two dollars. One, two, two, two. I'm at two dollars and two. Two o two's the money. Three, four, oh four. I'm at two dollars and four. Two o four, five, six, oh six. Two o six is the bid. Day three of the Hamilton Wiener sale saw the independent agents Hereford cattle sold. Craig Purcell joins me now. Craig, um, I'm going to ask you just please explain because a dollar seventy to two dollars fifteen does need explanation. Why I saw it, Murray. Uh, two sales within a sale. Uh, there were four or five lines of cattle, five or six lines of cattle off two properties, Moree and Arana. Uh, that were big lines of cattle that secured uh, restocker, repeat restocker inquiry uh, and over quite a period of years that the same people have come back and bought and bought and bought. Uh, those cattle made $2 plus to $2.15 a kilo. Uh, from there, once you lost that competition, you're back to 170 to 185 cents in the main, bar the odd exception. Yeah, uh, that's how I saw it. Yeah, um, it's 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 interesting the way that this this market has floated around today. Um, at the conclusion of the black sales, we thought that uh, demand was strengthening underneath, and this might have been a little bit brighter. Um, I know it sounds like I know everything, but I thought the top end of this job would really sing today, and I thought once we dropped off, it would would drop and drop pretty quick, twenty cents, and that seems to be where we'd be somewhere. Might it be more? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, cattle lined up uh, all right. They've had a uh, they've had a tough uh, they've had a tough uh, start to life here, and um, but they've come home pretty yeah, well. They've come home pretty well. They have the calves. I, you know, all everyone's been saying, oh, the calves haven't got the weight. Sure, the back end of the sale they they don't, but that's probably what they do every year. And, and interestingly, I was talking to Paul Molesley before. He's within a couple of kilos of his weights last year in yeah. in, a, uh, in two totally different years. Yeah, yeah. So the the breedings says something about the cattle, doesn't it? Yeah. The management of the cattle. Yeah. Now, in sale number two that you talk about, which was everybody else's cattle, yep. was there a premium uh, for the EU cattle, or did that has that dissipated? I think it was. A slight one. Um, I, look, the other EU cattle, we didn't have a lot of other EU cattle, I must admit, uh, but I think there was a little premium there, but not a, not a massive one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're three days in. Are you calling this um, a, a satisfactory result at three days? Uh, for the mole seeds and the McClure's, yes. For the rest of them, some sales, yes, yeah. But look, it's not enough money, 170 cents. Mate. No. I can't make money at that. I understand what the, the market, back market where it is. I understand the north being dry and running out of water and all that taking into account. But it's not enough money for the producers that are breeding them. Yeah. Now uh, we had uh, pretty good underlying support from your local uh, area again. Uh, there's uh, 40 to 45 percent of the cattle have stayed locally within the uh, southwest here. Yep. Uh, that repeat again today? Uh, if it didn't repeat, it was certainly heading towards that way. And there's still quite a few blokes underneath them. We're trying to buy cattle as well. Uh, the, the, it's on these feature lines that so we're trying to buy into those as well and, and got rolled. So. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next uh, course of the next week or so. Isn't it? Yeah, and we just hope and pray that heifers, uh, that uh, don't, don't roll your eyes like that, Craig, you, that the heifer market has uh, some sort of substance in it. It's not. It, look, it's going to trade at, at a price, who knows, 140 to 50 or 60 cents, perhaps, I hope. Uh, interestingly enough, there's a few blokes there that want to buy a few heifers too, so, but they'll buy them at a price. That's, that's the thing. Uh, Mightn't be, it mightn't be as doom and gloom as what they think, uh, but 145 to 55, 60 cents I think will cover the vast majority of it.